G'day everyone, it's Chris Carlin here, masteryourmoneynow.com.au, helping you take control of your finances from the comfort of your own home. And what I wanna talk about in this week's Whiteboard Wednesday is your second income. You see, a lot of people get themselves into trouble because they rely on one source of income. And that might be um, your main job or your main source of business. A lot of people are relying on one source of income to, in order to meet their expenses and to build wealth. Now that I could guarantee is not a good way to build wealth. Whether you're relying on one source of whether it's income or assets or whatever it might be, if you're only relying on one source, you are gonna be in a bit of trouble. So, and look, we do talk about income protection, the importance of protecting your income. That's something we talk about in a different Whiteboard Wednesday. But in this scenario, another way that I want to talk about is protecting your income is to have multiple different sources of income. Now, uh, now this can be different things to different people and really depends on your circumstances, which ones works best for you. I would say that a lot of you can set up your own, a second job or a second business uh, in order to generate that little bit of extra income that's gonna be a world of difference to your financial situation. To give you a point, I've just, um, I've actually got a client of mine who um, has, who's a full-time mother, but she's actually just started her own catering business. It gives her the flexibility to, um, to you know, cook whenever she wants to and uh, cook all these meals, and it just generates that extra 100, $150 a week, whatever it might be, I'm just making those numbers up, uh, and that makes a huge difference because she's currently on a family tax benefits and uh, the husband's working full-time, but uh, this, this little side business, that's an extra extra, you know, $100 a week is an extra five grand a year, extra. How much, that's, that's you know, a pay rise and it's all cash in hand, so it's all tax free. So I mean, uh, it's certainly, it's a great um, little side business for you, but I know a lot of you uh, are doing, and some of you uh, can consider doing, doing these little side businesses, which do generate that extra 50, 100, $200 a week. And that's gonna be the difference being able to save or not save. It could be the difference between paying down your debt and not paying down your debt. It could be the difference between retiring at age 60 and retiring at age 50. Whatever it might be for you, that extra little bit of money uh, can be um, can make a huge difference to your budget. And especially if it's something that you enjoy doing, if it's a hobby or uh, something that you're passionate about, then that's definitely something worth looking at. So I'd say that a lot of you uh, have got the capacity to start your second job uh, or a second little side business. The other thing that you may wanna look at is Centrelink. Now, I particularly find, particularly those who are approaching retirement, don't have a really, or at retirement, don't have a really good grasp of what you may be eligible for when it comes to Centrelink. And what we discover is that you can restructure things or um, even just apply for things where you would be eligible for an extra $100 a fortnight, $200 a fortnight. I have one client get an extra $700 a fortnight from their Centrelink benefits. Uh, and again, it's not about working harder, it's just about working smarter and asking the right questions and getting the right advice in place. So some of you would be eligible for Centrelink entitlements, you just don't know it yet. So that's why it's certainly uh, something worth considering. And that extra bit of money, it certainly helps when it comes to your second income. And the other thing uh, that you might want to consider, particularly if you are on a very high earning job or you've got a lot of savings capacity, is invest in, investment income. This is the greatest source of income because you're making money while you sleep. It might be your rent, it might be your dividends, might be bank interest, might be managed funds, capital growth, whatever it might be, Bitcoin, hell, if you're really, if you're really game adventurous, though I wouldn't recommend investing in Bitcoin, but there are ways where you can make money while you sleep. And particularly, and the long-term plan, um, for those who've watched my video about the LEAP graph, L-E-A-P uh, graph, where you can, uh, the whole purpose is that eventually, long-term, we want you to be earning more money while you sleep, or passive income, than money that you're currently making uh, and in your job, or active income. When, those two, when you're making more money whilst from your investments, then that's when you can retire. That's, that's the ultimate goal. So investment income definitely takes a bit longer to build up, but certainly the best long-term strategy in terms of growing your wealth. But even if you did a little bit of a second job, a little bit of Centrelink, a little bit of investment income and looked away to even increase your primary income as well, these are all, add those all together and you're gonna be able to significantly increase your income, which enable you to significantly increase your wealth, pay down your debt faster and retire sooner. A lot of things are worth processing, but just something to get you thinking this week, what are some of the ways that you can do better use your time, your resources in order to increase your income 
increase your wealth, and most importantly, live a better lifestyle, because that's what we want to do this for. Hey, if this is something you want to discuss in a bit more detail, what I want you to do is go to masteryourmoneynow.com.au forward slash get started, book in your 30 minute complimentary discussion with myself and one of my team, and we can have a bit more of a chat in regards to your options. If you like this video, hey, I've done about 30, 35 uh, whiteboard Wednesdays at this point in time. Make sure you go onto YouTube and Facebook or LinkedIn and have a look at uh, those videos and um, get some more uh, great content and tips in regards to how you can take control of your finances. My name's Chris Carlin from masteryourmoneynow.com.au. Looking forward to seeing you next week's Whiteboard Wednesday.